What's going on guys, my name is Hafo and today I've got a short tutorial on kind of a one clip edit I did earlier and it went out, it went down pretty well, I got some good feedback from everyone and uh, I appreciate that and uh, the edit I did, well, I actually enjoyed doing it, it only took me like 20 minutes and that's the beauty of it because anyone can do this and I see people saying like, um, oh how did you do this, how did you do that and yeah, that's what I like to do, I like doing little edits and then I like obviously telling people how I did it and uh, yeah, they're really easy, so anyone can do them. Um, there's no really, ex there's no excuses with this. It's pretty easy. Um, it's just literally me adding effects and uh, doing a little bit of syncing in in Final Cut Pro. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I did. The if you if you haven't seen the preview, you should have done because I, I put it at the start. But basically, I'll just uh, pause it at the point. Uh, it's this where you kind of see the deagle. This is the bit I liked anyway. It's got the Deagle, Reload and Twixted, and uh, the it's kind of got the depth of field effect, so the, everywhere around the Deagle is blared, and I've also got a bit of Twitch added, like, and it's, I'll show you the settings for my Twitch, at, like, in the video as well. So in this tutorial you'll be learning how to do the blare around the gun, and the Twitch, um, which makes the screen flash, and I'll show you how I did various other things in the, uh, in the edit. Okay, so... What I've done is I've I've pre-twixted the clip. Uh, I pre-twixted it at one percent, so uh, it's nice and slow, and there shouldn't be too much movement. Um, as you can see, I've already pre-twixted it, and uh, yeah, that's just to save time and save having to render it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this clip with Control D, or if you're on a Mac, Command D, which I am, and then you're going to get your pen tool and you're going to mask around the gun, like so. Just cl keep clicking around the edge of the gun. Um, I've already done this, so just to save time. It's like Blue Peter. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, I've already uh, pre-prepared this one here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, where it says at the side where I've got effects and presets, uh, you mightn't have this search bar if you don't, you just click uh, Window, I believe. Yeah, Window, and then check Effects and Presets, and it'll come up there. So I'm just going to type in Gaussian Blair. I just type in Gauss, and it comes up. And I'm going to drag that onto my masked layer. Um, before I do this, no, actually, yeah, okay. So I'm going to change the blariness to uh, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm going to click the uh, my little keyframe which I have next to blariness, and then I'm going to go forward a few frames. It doesn't have to be many. Um, and then I'm going to change my blariness to three. So on the key first keyframe, you change the blariness to zero, and on the like on the the next one, it's three. So as you can see, it kind of blares in, but at the moment I'm only blaring the gun, and we don't want to blare the gun because, well, oh no, sorry, I've I've already done this earlier. But when you do yours, you'll add the ba the blare, and what it'll do is it will just blare the area inside the gun. Um, so what you're gonna do is go to masks, click the drop down where it says mask one, it'll say add yours originally, so it'll look like that. So you're just gonna change that to subtract, and it'll basically do the surroundings of the gun. Um, that's pretty much that bit done. That's uh, very, very easy. And I'm sure you won't have much of a problem with that. And uh, you're also going to want to change the mask feather on that to... I changed mine to 35, but it really depends on personal preference. Um, but make sure you do change the feather, because otherwise it looks pretty bad. Um, and yeah, that's the, that's the background bit done. Now you're going to want to add uh, some twitch, you know, to just kind of make it look a bit nicer. Um, I, I really like the Twitch on this. I don't really usually use it, but I just thought, when I was making this, I thought, right, I need something else there. So I added some Twitch, um, which is a video co-pilot plugin. It's not free, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. I didn't just say that anyway. Um, you go to Twitch, just make an adjustment layer and drag the Twitch on. Now, I used the blinking preset and I know that lots of you don't have the presets so I'm going to tell you the settings um, I saved mine my animation preset and uh, basically you change the amount to 20 if you if you want and if you want to pause it at any time when I'm reading these I'll just do and then copy them down the amount to 20 the speed to 8.00 uh, enable and you're going to click blur and light um, behavior you're going to change ease in to 1.0, ease out to 2.0, and border to mirror. 
Uh, I might be. I'm not sure if these are the presets, uh, what, like the default settings. If they are, I'm sorry, but I'm just reading out what my settings were. I can't remember if I changed any of these. Um, the operator controls. Now, this is where you guys are going to have to just copy them down because there's a lot there. No, actually, I'll read them out. It's probably easier for you guys. So, uh, Blair amount uh, 50.00, Blair twitches 1.0, um, Blair holdout 0, Blair holdout sharpen um, 1.0, Blair boost 100, Blair opacity 100, Blair transfer mode normal, Blair aspect 0, unique Blair seed 0, light amount 50, light twitches 1, light behavior darker, and unique light seed 0. So if you want to pause it at any point, if you miss any of them, just uh, do that now, and uh, they're all there. So that's the, that's basically the blinking effect where it like, it kind of gets lighter and darker. I think it looks really nice. Uh, you might want to add a color correction. I'm not going to do that now because I don't. It'll just take time, and I can't be bothered. And one one other thing I did on this bit as well, what I I do on quite a lot of my edits now is I'm just going to delete the my um the mask. Um, what I usually do is I usually render it all out um, using the settings I showed in the other video and then I like to add my wiggle and I add that to the um, I add that to the whole of the edit because I, I just think it looks nice you might not like this but I think it's really nice so what I do is I just drag the like grab the corner of the clip holding shift and drag that out to about there so it's zoomed in um, and then you're gonna go to the drop down on your like your clip where it says transform you're going to drop that down and you're going to hold alt and click on position then you're going to type in wiggle open bracket 3 comma 10 close bracket and you're just going to click down there and now what you'll see it do is it kind of like it moves about like that and uh, I think that is honestly one of the things that makes some edits really nice it, it almost makes the edit what it is I don't know why it just looks nice especially on a Twixter, so I would bear that in mind if I was you, and uh, yeah, I added a colour correction, but that was pretty much all there was to it, it's really easy, and I just synced it in um, Final Cut. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, could you leave a like? Um, I'd also like to say, people have been messaging me loads recently, asking can I upload their stuff, their videos, and the answer to that is no, I'm not a community channel, and uh, I don't intend to be, there's plenty of community channels out there, if you want your stuff uploading, I'm sure they'll do it for you. So. Uh, Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, could you leave a like and possibly comment on the video? If you want anything else, like any other tutorials, just leave a comment. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and goodbye.